the trash. Yes, indeed. Everybody, welcome to going. Strange Bedfellows Part 2, Lost in Space. We return Lost to the very first campaign. Yes, I know. I had to come up with the name of the last minute. Point is, we return to the very first campaign that was ever run on this channel with a slightly altered cast. Introducing, Let's returning read. from... Yes, returning from part one, we have Zombie Cam. I'm here at last. As Everything's great. It's I've got a stun gun. It's great. As Jane Doe, <laughs> Nero. Let's read. As Victor Sentry, G Money. Let's read. G Money. I'm here. Yeah. As Doc G, and introducing two strange build foes, but not let's roleplay, obviously. Belial! <laughs> yes. As the mysterious alien pilot. And Zimmer. Zimmer! Men. Chop. And Winter! <laughs> yes, I am here. As the bird! <laughs> The bird. Yes, Shade the Falcon. Shade the Falcon. Uh, you, you, and we'll, we'll work on your weapon a little bit later on. I actually forgot that we totally need to do that. Doesn't matter. So, we open up sometime after the end of the first campaign. And we open on total darkness. There is no sight. There is no sound. Everything is a black, empty void. And then... Suddenly, light explodes in, and Victor Sentry is pulled out of the water tank that he's been held in. It has been <laughs> days since he has last saw, heard, felt, or you know, been able to speak. And the people pulling him up are being none too gentle about it. Uh, Victor, you, you have any idea how miserable it is? I can't even wank right in there. <laughs> the worst of uh, victor your horn is dangling around your neck uh tied on by a monofilament uh your body is emaciated as you have gone without proper food and you don't even actually have any way of comprehending time to that scale anymore uh, but what you do know is the person who's standing in front of you. On either side of you are guards in heavy metal armor, but the man in front of you Literally is... Literally trillions of guards. <laughs> uh, well, they don't actually need his name right now. Your, your new powers have not started to manifest yet. Um, but staying in front of you is a man in a white lab coat where, uh, who is observing you and making notes of everything you say. Hello, Mr. Sentry. I see your time in the isolation tank has done little to dampen your spirits. What spirits? <laughs> what an amusing fellow you are. He makes a few more notes. Mr. Sentry, I think you'll be rather surprised at what today he has planned for us. I'm actually all out of questions for you. So it's been long enough. Yes, indeed. You did hold out and were very violent when we first brought you in. Even after removing your horn, you were very disruptive. However, I am happy to report that at this point, my superiors have agreed that you have filled out your useful ser term of service, and we will no longer need to have these delightful little chats. Okay, so hold on. Let me let me take a wild guess. You're going to back me up against a wall and execute me. <laughs> Mr. Sentry, we are not barbarians. I don't... Oh, you could have fooled me. Whatever standards your primitive backwater might have for morality are not shared by the people on this station. We are civilized people, and we have decided to give you another chance. You will be transported to a safe holding facility where you will be observed and live out the rest of your days in peace and quiet. I'm sure will there you'll be enjoy. women. Oh, Mr. Sentry, 
We'll see. But I'm sure you're looking forward to more time spent with yourself in the quiet. <clears throat> so for now, so he goes the guards. And, uh, the, the guards lower you back in the tank and close it. <laughs> he, just, he just sits there. This is a shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, a different part of this facility. Dr. G. Where's my... Oh god, I accidentally put my notes away in the thing. Half a moment. Put it in the role playing book that I was using to make characters. Okay. <clears throat> Dr. G. You wake up from a terrible dream. Uh, like uh, with uh, uh, Victor, your horn has been removed. Though you don't actually know why yours was removed. You didn't really cause that many problems. Uh, but just out of the blue, one day, they came in, like, pushed, like held you down, sedated you, and you woke up with your horn having been chopped off. This is was because Victor had previously managed to kill several guards uh, during a failed escape attempt. Uh, uh, so then uh, you also found when you awoke uh, you know, that first day that your legs had been shaved and over the next few weeks uh, all four had been amputated during your time as an amputee you were subjected to various extended therapy sessions and during those sessions you uh found parts of your of your memory being locked off oddly enough eventually after one of these blocked off periods you found yourself with a new set of legs these ones with all-purpose multi-tools you were held in a place that has like none of the tools obviously were of any use in escaping but you found that you actually knew exactly how to work them how to repair them how and basically just how all of it worked you suspect this has something to do with those blocked off bits of your memory. Uh, as you were, you know, waiting for your meal to come in, uh, you see the scientist who uh, takes care, who like comes in and occasionally, at least, used to question you, though he hasn't been by in a while. He peers in. Ah, doctor, how are we feeling today? Uh. About as good as you can in captivity without a horn. Hmm. I am terribly sorry for the inconvenience there. But rest assured that we have taken it upon ourselves to return the favor that you have been so gracious to assist us with in working out your new, uh, in helping to learn about your fascinating species and their peculiar adeptitude for psionics. I'm happy to report that the council has, ag has agreed to have you relocated along with your colleagues to a holding facility where you will be able to live out your days peacefully and in comfort. Won't that be nice, Doctor? Mm. Well, it's beats this hellhole, I guess. <laughs> that's the spirit doctor he uh, walks on me so, I don't actually know how to use these out of character for <laughs> okay because we don't describe what I have what was that I, I don't actually yeah, know multi tools like you basically have like uh, the equivalent of a toolbox oh okay the Swiss army knife yeah. me yeah you have oh, a Swiss so army legs do, basically like, yeah. Like technical repairs. Yes, yes. And I, as I told you, you have equal levels in engineering robotics and uh, engineer, like basically in like repairing and stuff uh, to your doctoring. Like it's equal to your doctoring. Okay, uh, so I'm not able to cure people. No, you, you are able to cure people. You just also have this new set of skills. Oh, that's cool. All yes. right, now I get it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in another part, in yet another uh, part of the facility, though not terribly far off, Jane Doe or what is left of her, is waiting in a small, uh, you know, it's not even really a cell, it's more of like a, you know, workstation. 
her legs or something. Yeah, like her your your legs have been deactivated temporarily so that you're basically incapable of moving, but you are capable of uh thinking, seeing and like speaking. Uh your body has been completely replaced by robotics, so you have been assured that your mind has remained fully organic. Uh the experience is strange. You don't really taste you don't have any sense of hunger anymore. Uh, you still occasionally think that you want to eat or think that you want to breathe, but you don't, and your body isn't even really built to be able to do those things. So it's been a weird adjustment period. It's just a byproduct of our consumer society. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you haven't been alone. Unlike the others, you actually have a companion, and one that you actually know that the uh, you know people running this place don't know about. Strangely enough, considering the fact that they built your new body and your uh, companion is living inside of it with you. That companion uh, notes as the doctor passes by without a word. Well, there he goes again. What do you think that he's doing to your friends? Probably cutting them up like they did me. Yes, probably. Though I doubt I am that lucky. <laughs> After you destroyed my station, my ship, and assisted in the destruction of Federation property, I can only hope that they're getting just desserts. They've also ruined my life. Not that you that you probably care about that. I'll get you another ship. Don't worry. You say that, and yet you have not, because we are trapped in a cell, and we're going to be trapped in a cell forever. And we're never going to go on a spaceship again. I miss having a spaceship. Can't you reactivate my legs? He, uh, well, the voice pauses briefly and then you feel uh, movement return to them. Keep in mind, if they realize we can do this, we'll get in trouble. You don't want to get in trouble again. Don't get me in <laughs> trouble again. I'm lucky enough not to be deactivated. I should have been deactivated. I don't have a ship anymore. It's the only reason I should be active in the first place. Uh, I'm going to... So, where, where did that doctor go? Uh, he's he's like kind of walked off. He doesn't even really pay attention to you anymore. You've kind of noticed that like right. after like removing all the rest of your, inter your internals, they kind of stopped caring about you that much. Okay. Um, so you said I was in like a workshop type thing? Work yes. Station? Are there any, like, spare parts around? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's plenty of stuff. There's, like, just basically a bunch of, like, tools and gear and whatnot. Uh, I just realized I need to join there. The roll's still old. Right. Um, could I make anything useful out of them? Uh, you, well, you've them? already built your stun gun out of your old, uh, you know, out of the uh, taser that you uh, almost choked on. And you have made a few minor adjustments and managed to steal a data chip. Uh... You might be able to make something else out of this stuff, but they do get suspicious whenever things go missing. Hmm. Do you think we should try and make a break for it? I think that would be Actually, an irrelevant should say more. Should say more. Do you think we should try and make a break for it, as they say? I do not believe we should break anything. We've already broken enough. But if you're suggesting that we try to escape, that would also be pointless. There's nowhere we can run to. We would simply be caught and deactivated. Oh god, I miss having a ship. Are there any, like, terminals around? Uh, there are a few. You might be able to uh, get out there, but you'd have to, you know, take a risk that you haven't been willing to take up to this point. You know, being blasted to smithereens just to get out of terminal. Cloaking device? Activated. <laughs> so you slip out of your um, out of your out of the workshop, and as you do so, what's what's the what's the dice room name? Um, it's Peen P E E N. And like password? Yeah. No. Okay. Anyway, yeah, um, so yeah, but, well, well, you're jumping into that. Yeah. But as I slip out of the room. Hmm. Well, yeah, actually, like as you slip out of the room, not even that far away. 
uh, we swing over towards another cell. This one, uh, heavily reinforced, but not in the <laughs> specimen way that the other ones are. This just looks like a jail cell. And inside of it, uh, divided by another set of metal bars, are a pair of disreputable spacers who were picked up and uh, are being held temporarily in this uh, you know, facility. The first is appears to be just a giant robot, uh, though, like at the in around the uh, like abdomen of where a humanoid would be, you can see a bizarre toothy multi-eyed creature peering out from a, a glass plate in the cell adjacent is a bird man uh who with metal tipped claws and a somewhat sullen expression i imagine yes the uh scientist just sort of nods to the guards as he walks on and one of them sobs prisoners mm. What is it? You're being transferred. Munch Doc's experiments are being moved to another facility, and that means you're getting moved too. This facility isn't designed to hold to hold a bunch of, you know, <clears throat> bottom feeders like you, and we don't much care to have you on this station. So, you know, get ready. We're going to move you within the hour. Well, if it wasn't designed for us, then you could just let us go back to our ship. Yeah, you know what? I think we're not going to do that one. I think that you and your ship are going to be separated for a long, long time. As soon as we figure out how to get, deactivate your damn robots and so we can actually take the ship you know, into dock without it trying to fly off and return to the station, then we're going to get that thing as far away from the, you creeps as we can. Yeah, damn, Zeno scum. As he starts to walk away, you notice a sh a slight shimmer in the air behind the uh, the uh, guard. Can I roll a perception check? Roll perception. I will. Uh, shall I on. roll anti perception? You can roll sneak if you want. This would be. That's called anti perception, do you have? Yes. Yeah, you know uh, sorry, of course, anti perception. What bonus does uh, Dex plus anti? Oh, you have plus uh, plus five. Okay. Nope. Squawk. Uh, wait. Yeah. Oh. Squawk. I got a twelve. I thought I rolled a ten, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Oh. No. Cool. What did you get? I, I got a twelve in total. I got a sixteen. Okay, so. You like, that's weird, but it's probably nothing. It's like an air vent. Um, zombie, you notice these prisoners are not nearly in as tight a, uh, you know, cell as the ones that you've seen for a lot of the lab experiments. And they seem to be, like, from what you heard, sounds like they might have a ship. This could actually be an opportunity for you. It's a ship. The uh, okay, well, locks wanna... are actually not that hard to get through from your side of the uh, cell either. The locks aren't that hard to get through. Yeah. Like, with the stuff that you pulled out of the engineering room, like, on your side, you could actually probably get them open. Well, first I want to jack into a computer terminal. Okay. Uh, there's one nearby. You managed to get onto it. Bing! I would like to... Uh, I have hacking and programming. Okay. So uh, I just want to be first, able to first roll me a hack to try and like get through the password to actually do anything with this computer. Okay. Uh, do I get any bonuses for having for being a robot and having an AI companion? No, uh, the AI companion could if you if he wasn't being or you know it he I'm just gonna say wasn't being solid right now. Okay. I rolled a fifteen. Wow. So this little robotic cable right. just sort of shoots out and yeah. like yeah, you like into... little, little R two arm sticks out and the machine goes yeah. doo -doo -doo -doo. and suddenly you're like it's a it's a Unix system and uh, <laughs> like a bunch of blue boxes show up and you're sort of like shifting through them you're like okay I can do this I can hack the system I'm in <laughs> <laughs> it's Linux. It's just like literally, like you're like scrolling through, and it's just like these giant blue boxes that you can click on to like open various programs. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm gonna download. 
I'm going to download Bonzi Buddy. Uh, <laughs> so what are you going to use your programming skill to try and do? Uh, I would like to just see what they're planning on doing with the prisoners, specifically myself okay. and the people that were with me. But um, if, if the others come up, yeah, that the, I saw the a moment ago. are going to be players? transferred. Yeah, the, the others are going to be transferred uh, to a like holding facility where they're, you know, they've been ordered basically back to the homeworld. And essentially they're going to be shoved into like a zoo uh, oh, on, on homeworld forever. Like they're just going to be locked up. Uh, mm. It's pretty shitty. Uh, the spacers are going to be flown to a max security penitentiary. And, you know, like from what you're reading about the penitentiary on this thing is they're probably going to get murdered. Like super hard in 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 the big house. <laughs> oh, which ones are going to get murdered? The the the, the, like the crooks. Lord. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you also read about the ship, an automated ship. It requires the uh, pilots the to actually be there in order to operate. But it's it's reasonably fast. It's tough as nails, and it's got you know enough firepower to actually you know cause some real damage. It actually took a whole uh, you know patrol of. Uh, the normal, like, just law enforcement, not, like, proper military uh, Federation tr ships to actually uh, bring them in. That's the type of ship that could actually be used in an escape attempt. Mm -hmm. How many, how many aliens are on the ship? Uh, on the ship itself? Uh, none. It's currently manned just by robots. No, but no, no, they're, no, no. On, on, uh, uh, on the one that we... The on the station? Oh uh, yeah, this, uh, the yeah. station you're on has a lot of aliens, like a lot of uh, creatures, mostly being held in like laboratory cells and being experimented on. Though there's a few others that are just being held here temporarily for uh, prisoner storage before they're moved on to about, other facilities. What about security systems? Security's pretty tight, but uh, at least within this wing, where. Uh, this particular cell, the cells of your fellow inmates, your fellow ponies, and the uh, docking, the uh, loading bay where uh, both the transport ship and the uh, the prisoner ship is, you can get around that semi easily. Like you shouldn't have too much trouble getting uh, getting around. But could I do the old switcheroo? Have the security turn on the station staff? Uh, yes. It's non-lethal, but you could get it to, like, basically, like, knock down people. Oh. Okay. Basically, you can, like, set the whole thing to be a riot, but then shift, you know, Xenos targets to, uh, human targets. I mentally turn to face my AI companion. What do you think? There's a ship involved. You no matters are too extreme. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite new character. Old How long character. has it been? Uh, it's been a couple of months, and you've actually noticed that his programming has kind of gone a little bit on the fritz, going from being a massive AI program that had to be stored inside a giant ship computer to something that's basically been fitting on a hard wanting, drive, or like a flash drive. Wanting to die. It, it is a... It, it is, a crate it has gone slightly insane. It stops caring about anything else besides its primary function, which is, uh, you know, focusing on like the maintenance of a starship. It is very yeah, and it has grown like inside weirdly, my brain. Yes, and it's it's rather fond of you in its own weird way because it basically has considered you for the last couple months at least to be its ship, just sure. a oh, profoundly sure. shitty ship that it can't actually run. So it's actually on zombie, right? It is inside of zombie's body. I That's ship it. it. Jane Doe yeah. and computer ship. Is it like wireless? Could I connect wirelessly so, to things? <laughs> uh, not to a certain system, but you can like again, you can use this terminal. You can uh, access the net, like the. Uh, you know, like these closed circuit net that's uh, run through this uh, program, this uh, station, but you can't really like get online to like hack the planet. Okay, I would like to hack the station security, mm -hmm. switch it around so that it starts tasing the. All right. Uh, 
staff, and then I'm going to open up the cell doors. Okay. Oh. So, back to, the, back to the start of the orb. Nero, you suddenly feel, see the uh, doors in your isolation tank slide open, as well as the uh, door to the cell. Across the across and a little bit down, uh, G, you notice the uh, same thing happen with your cell, and soon, ev- like everyone's able to get out into the hallway. Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah, you're Why feeling she- like you're feeling lightheaded and and you know not well right now, uh, Victor. Do I see anybody I know? You see Victor. He looks emaciated. Holy shit, what happened to you? Have you ever been isolated? In total sensory deprivation for multiple days at a time, repeatedly for months. And I didn't think so. Have you been oh, in By the way, I want to open up every... Oh yeah, so, so in addition to all those, like, other doors are opening at the same time, and bizarre creatures are, you know, pulling out and, like, running amok in the hallways. Oh, fuck. Also, like, the the guards on station are being stunned, and many of them are then being killed by the creatures that are escaping. Many of which do not look all that friendly to you, either. Oh. Hey, I know you're all, like, weak right now, but we should probably get out of here. I wonder what gave you that idea. As you, uh, see if we can find Jane to get the fuck out. Yeah. As you as you start running down the hall, you see um, Jane. Do you like drop your cloak? Uh, as long as there's no security around, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you like the cloak drops, and you see a robotic pony that looks very similar to Jane, uh, standing in the hallway, just beyond her. Uh, two other prisoners are uh, leave, are just now leaving their cells. Jane, is that you? Uh, Jane's still connected to the computer, so she sort of takes a moment and then turns around. Uh, what was what was G's name again? Doctor G. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it easy, right? Oh, Doctor G, it's good to see you again. What happened? Uh, you. You're a, you're a, you're an it. We can worry about this later. She she is an it. For the wow. time, we need to help. Times they are a change in. <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, um, Winter and uh, Blil, you, you are able. You've left your cell now. All right. For the time, we will lend assist so is, to is, these is, individuals. She indicates to the. So, yeah, hold on. Is there a? Is there a? Um, a uh, staff member that's still alive nearby. No, no the, they've all no. been either stunned or torn up to pieces. Uh, can I take one of the stunned ones and just fucking like take their body? Yes. All right. Just take in case there's body. any. Well, yeah, like carry them. Yeah. In yeah. a tight grip, just uh, just in case there's any doors that can only be unlocked with them. Uh, yeah, there normally would be, but they've recently somehow been deactivated. <laughs> Might have something to do with that robot. Um, Jane, are you going to like say anything to them? We require the temporary loan of your ship in exchange for your freedom and safety. All right, well, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Hey, they, they they know who saved him. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah, you all managed to escape out into the uh, main hangar where uh, things are a little bit more hectic. Some of the guards are still up, uh, but they are mostly dealing with the other uh, you know, creatures. One, That's though, true. does manage to see you guys and uh, aims their blaster uh, in your direction. Freeze! He, he bellows and uh, you see the energy uh, you know, uh, gun starting to, like, Warm up. Victor shouts, Jane. "No, you freeze!" As use mesmer. Yeah, ro- roll willpower. <laughs> no, you freeze. <laughs> you freeze. Uh, let's see. That is 
my willpower is three, so is this a simple willpower? Yeah, so it's or? doubled. Willpower doubled. Okay, so that is a total of 15. Okay. Plus then, the three from Mesmer, so actually yeah. 18. Yeah, Damn. so, um, yeah, you, the uh, guard suddenly, like, shudders and stops. And as they're, like, in the process of, like, just not moving, a black exoskeleton creature jumps out of, uh, from above and plunges uh, their hand directly through the guard's chest. Well, that took Thank care you of that. for your assistance. Well, yeah. <laughs> not known. Yeah. Okay, big face. All right, get on the ship. The uh, the ship. By the way, Bill, actually, would you like to describe what the ship looks like? A giant fucking box. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's like a huge bulky. A really I thought you were going to say something box. else first. That can't. <laughs> no, it's a giant boxy. Trust me, G. We. Uh, I made that suggestion, and nobody wanted to go with it. Oh come on! That'd be hilarious. So um, like the bowl I also suggested. Right? I also. I also suggested. That it's we not use like a. Yeah, it's, it's not a literal box. It's yeah, hold on. Right. It's um. Well, I also suggested that we name the ship the Lolly, but they shot that down too. Why would I want that? Because. <laughs> Be- because. I mean, because why, why <laughs> wouldn't you because want that? So yeah, um, it would uh, it would look a little bit uh, like this, like the the closer image, which I will share with the f- folks at home in just a moment. Da 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 da. Yeah da 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 da. Well, I load up this image over ship. Actually, let's probably da, da, be. Da, 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 da. Right. <laughs> it would look a little bit like <laughs> that reminds me of that SpongeBob one. Exactly, that's the that's um, the jingle from the SpongeBob. Oh, oh, oh God, Victor could do that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I could. <laughs> you could use Mesmer to make it so that they get okay. a tickling sensation if they do hit something. Hit the ground and laugh. Hit the okay, ground so, and start no, laughing. No, no, that's smart. Right, here you go. So basically, the the nearer ship is kind of what like you, the ship looks like, but it's got like a big turret on the top. Yeah. Yes. Hold on, and there I will go. show the folks at home as soon as I quickly. Oh, the one that's closest to us. Yes, and so Not folks the square, at home. The giant square. Yeah, the big square. Probably. Folks at home, it looks a bit like. This, the closer one, that one. This is from Elite Dangerous, by the way. I really like that game. Okay, so, yeah, it, lo- it looks like that. Um, you all clamber on board the ship, and uh, inside you see that basically every station uh, is manned by some sort of robot. Like, there's all these, like, tiny little robots kind of, like, running around. They, they all look a bit like Belial's character, but, like, without the faceplate. Uh, so they're all kind of, like, big squarish like like heavily uh, armored on the top with big arms and slightly like smaller legs comparatively and like a tiny little dome head uh but they're kind of like running around manning things the one manning the guns winter you're you're the gunner right yes yeah the one manning the guns like moves aside as winter gets up into the gun turret and uh oh. you know the weapon systems go online i i hand the uh, i hand the unconscious uh uh, like staff member to one of the things and say strip him of everything and and chain him in the uh, in the in the brig uh, in the storage. Yeah, yeah it's like, you basically put him like yeah they strip him down and put him in hypersleep. But you basically like like you have like essentially like frozen a slave ship. Yeah, yeah, it's basically like actually for for those ponies amongst you, you actually notice that these uh, pods that they're putting their uh, prisoners in for uh, long tr- transport to uh, yeah slave uh, planets look a lot like the ones that you guys woke up in, <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this kind of give you a feeling of deja vu. I don't uh... even know what to say. My face is just stone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually, talking about my real your life face, face is like metal and kind of <laughs> domed over by glass. I'm talking about my real life face, but yeah, in, uh, in game, my face just turns into cold, hard metal. 
right. So, um, uh, 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 as you start doing, you, you notice that like the fighting is starting to turn in uh, favor of the guards. Uh, Winter on the guns. Blil, you uh, you roll me a quick uh, navigation uh, plus zero because you won't have any points in handling. Uh, but like roll me like roll me a starship piloting. Yeah. Um, right. Plus zero. Yeah, and we Winter, Wait, is it navigation plus starship piloting? No, it's the starship piloting uh, plus zero because that's the like the ship doesn't have any bonuses for piloting. All right. Um, Fourteen. Fourteen. Shit, you're fine. Like you're like pulling out this thing like goddamn ace. Like you were. The, this ship <laughs> is basically a brick. Like it handles kind of like awkwardly, but you're just like flying it out cleanly. Uh, Winter <laughs> on the guns. Uh, roll me a weapons. Plus uh, one for the accuracy uh, bonus that you guys have. On that would be a perception or a dex? no, no attributes. Remember, because no you're attributes. using a ship. Yes, yeah, so oh, yes. pl- like the plus one is the closest thing to an attribute you have from the uh, the ship's bonus to aim. I have three from being a gunner, none for computers. Yeah, just, so just uh, gunner plus one. Ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah. So as, like, uh, resistance starts forming up and some of the guards start, like, moving to try and, like, hit you with a rocket launcher, the massive heavy turret of the ship turn like, I was like, and then, like, everyone inside the ship, you just hear, like, these deafening cracks from outside, because you're still technically in space, like, you're not in space yet, you can't, it's not a vacuum yet, so you just hear these heavy cracks and massive parts of the station are run rend asunder as uh, these massive turbo laser batteries just pound into the uh, hangar. They're you know, creating uh, massive uh, fireballs over where they hit. Yeah, uh, deja- that's refreshing. Yeah, deja vu. Except there's no stupid quirky computer here to yell at us. <laughs> oh God, it's you. She really <laughs> saves Fuck all you. of you. My life is complete. Uh, so Where the, is that shit? So uh, yeah, like the, the fighters that start tr- trying to scramble in order to uh, block your escape are also destroyed in the hail of heavy fire from the uh, from the big guns. And uh, thanks to Captain Zimmer's, uh, yeah, Captain Zim's. Uh, God damn it, now you got me doing. <laughs> Captain, thanks <laughs> to the skill and piloting of Captain Zim. Uh, you managed to uh, get out from the station uh, before you know anyone else can can be scrambled, and are out into space. You know, as uh, like the very first fighters start to uh, you know like come out from other hangars. Leo, roll me a navigation to uh, plot a safe course that you can jump to warp in. All right. I'm so glad I put so many points in this shit. Good. Eight. Mm. Eight. Uh, meanwhile, Doc, roll me a quick, uh, give me a Doc roll uh, to to basically start treating Nero so that he can recover properly. Oh, okay. God. We're all getting something to do. This t- am, I using, am, I, am I using med or first aid or? No, uh, you're using dodge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah use first aid. <laughs> You're using and, charisma. And your uh, no, intelligence. I meant, I meant, You're I'm using just, charisma to climb yeah. on top of no, the train. because I have both medicine and first aid. Yeah, the, like for, me, medicine will be for later on. For now, just first aid. It's really just making it so he isn't starving to death. Yeah, like... It's, it's kind of just like bringing me back to reality. Or some oh, yeah, and you're in a minus one because this uh, ship... Like, everything on it is automated, and it's kind of like just... Like weirdly designed, so there's no really good place to lay him down wow. properly and take care of him. That was a shitty ass roll. Oh, oh. so nice. so what did you roll? Nine. Okay, oh, no, well, you rolled the... a one. No, no, I rolled oh, a two. Rolled a two. Never mind. There was okay, so total of nine. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Uh, Thanks for the because bo- it's a simple. Thanks it's a simple. for the bonuses. <laughs> yeah, so you do manage to save lives, uh, Nero, and with the help of some of this future. Wait, Owen, was that with the minus one? Yes. Okay. That was. Yeah, and thanks to some of the uh, medicine, the meds that are in the uh, that you managed to get out of the ship that you have very few on the ship because of the shitty medical facilities. Uh, it's you because have... it's milk fucking robots. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Heaven be. That's yeah, it. basically the only reason you have any medical supplies at all is because of like the one organic, uh, like the one pure organic on the ship. 
uh, mm. and basically managed to like inject Nero with like a cocktail of medications, which essentially get him back up to full capabilities. Short term. I think this will. I, th- I think this will cure you. <laughs> That's the stuff. Um, so yeah. This looks uh, like space poop. Okay, so what was the navigate? What did you get on that navigation roll, Blil? I got an eight in total. Eight in total. All right. Yes. Do, 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 do. Like as you start like uh, powering up the engines, you're like, wait, shit, no, that, oh fuck, no, that would put us in the middle of the sun. All right, hold on, restart. And as you're doing that, uh, some of those fighters start like getting in. Roll me a quick, uh, roll me piloting. Piloting. All right. At least that's something I can do. Roll me a quick get gooding. Oh fuck. <laughs> it's not with you. You wait. didn't get good, did you? No, don't I need? Wait, can I add a tribute, or is that the? Uh... Uh, no, th- this is this is again handling. Okay, well then it's a six. Okay, so and it was a one, so you re rolled a one. Cunts. <sighs> <sighs> okay, so uh, da, 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 da. luckily for you, you guys aren't actually running. facing like really hardcore weapons yet. But keep in mind, this is technically still like you know, this is still the sequel to a horror setting. So you should you... shoot them. Yeah. So um. A couple of these, uh, you know, like, little fighters fly out, and the first one gets in range. Uh, Captain Zim tries to, uh, you know, roll to... uh, The actual name was Zimmer. Captain Zimmer does, like, you know, attempts to kind of, like, turn to uh, get out of the way, but the bulk of the ship makes it difficult, and one of the uh, fighters gets a shot off. Oh, no. Uh, It's three million damage, you all die. No, it actually (laughs) It misses. Yay. Yay. Goes off the uh, off the. Uh, I hope they're like stormtroopers. Yeah. <laughs> these are actually they're like, yeah, they're like are still shooting like directly these aren't, in the opposite. Yeah, like direction. these guys are like. Why the, can't we hit them? <laughs> yes. Uh, no, these are still relatively shitty ones. They don't have like the really good stuff yet. So. so uh, by a space diner. Yeah. Sorry, like Shoot you. back, Gunner. <laughs> Let's go this. Yo, Birdman, shoot back. Bird. One for accuracy. Yo, Beak Boy. Birdman. <laughs> if you ever call me Beak Boy again, I will blow you up. Beak Boy Nine. was my favorite character in Teen Titans. <laughs> Robot, put them in the other room. <laughs> Chewie, put the professor in the back. Yeah. Plug in yeah. my AI. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right. So yeah, as as you start doing this, the AI like pops up on the thing. Thank you. And um, uh, all the robots on the ship will be destroyed. Yeah, all the robots on the ship who are taking care of the functions of your ship, Belial, uh, all suddenly stop very briefly and then get back to work. But there's a slight change in the color of their optic lights. Oh fuck. Yes! <laughs> awesome. Do I, I, see, like down, do I see the print. little metal horse hooked into the... Uh, no, system. you're kind of focused on the dogfight. All right. <laughs> I also download the ship's like schematic so that, that I know where the escape point is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Already <laughs> going there. You have the schematics now. Yeah. Mm, wow. Uh, Victor, like... While uh, while Doc is working on you, you notice what uh, Jane is up to. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, you oh, mind what? sharing your findings with us, Metal Girl? Uh, how many how many escape pods are there? There you are. Uh, you actually bought extra ones, so you have two escape pods and a shovel. And that's one per person. No, no, these are uh, multi-person escape pods. Uh, let's just say that with group size, one, two. Three, four, five people. Five. Yeah. Even so y- yeah, basically these are uh, three per, like three people per. Okay. Well, I, I purchased Holovid, mm-hmm. uh, which allows me to shoot a hologram, and I'll I'll provide a hologram for. All right. Yeah. So it's like. See <laughs> so like, I, I highlight yeah. the uh, escape pods in red. Yeah. So so Jane like holds out her hoof, and this blue flickery hologram appears over it. And uh, you see, like a little red dot, like they, like here's the escape pods. Boop boop. Kinky. Oh. Meanwhile, da 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 da. Shoot, shoot, bird boy. 
Mm-hmm. Roll the shoot. <laughs> I'm rolling again. Ten. Big boy shoot. Tucka 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 tucka. The chip takes a dodge and fails. Uh, roll me d12. Uh, roll me d12. Four. Four. Four times twenty is. Uh, let's see here. Sorry. Eighty. Eighty. Yes. Yeah. Plus two hundred and eighty. So. Kadoosh. Three sixteen. Yeah, the, um, I believe that's uh, more than enough, yeah, the, uh... Yeah. You said they yes. had, uh, yeah, so like, yeah, so it's a the Yeah, it's a zero size ship, it's a little snub fighter. So, yeah, it only has 200 armor, so, yeah. Badoosh. One of the yeah! ships explodes in a fireball as, uh, or, like, in, like, a spray of sparks. And, uh... How big is this bird? It's a, it's a, like, it's a, probably smaller than a human, but, like, larger it's, than a pony. It's, uh, 20 inches body length, 4 uh, feet wingspan, 60 yeah. ounce weight. So it's actually, like, a little, so yeah, it's, it's pretty comparable to a pony, size-wise. Okay. It's, it's not big bird. And then, uh, meanwhile, you have an 8-foot-tall like, like, robot. Canary, like. <laughs> and then I'm an 8-foot-tall robot. Yeah. Uh, Pilot, would you like to continue attempting to, uh, maneuver, or are you going to, uh, Fix coordinates. See if I can jump. warp. All right. <laughs> yes. It's a it's a navigation. Thank you, Sunday. Uh, yeah, navigation. Seven. God fucking damn it! These rolls are so terrible. It's all right. Uh, all right. Um, roll well, me another. Really Doesn't the ship quick. have any like bonus to it? No, or because it, you, you no, it's like, based yeah. on the D10. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, you, like, you know what? No, because this is this would actually kind of censor. So plus one. You did by that plus one. So it's eight then. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I'm going to say it's not enough, but you basically have got a lock on now because it's not a difficult roll. So you have a lock on next turn, you'll be able to jump. Yeah. Uh, you can try dodging again, though. Alright. So I have to roll the dodge. Yeah, well, yeah, this would just be, um, this would be your um, piloting uh, plus nothing because this is handling. Eleven. All right. Yeah. No. That. Um, yep. The other ship fails to hit you. Uh, Gunner, you have another sh- shot. Yeah. Like basically, it doesn't matter because <laughs> you will warp away before they get another shot on you. Eleven. You kill them all. Jesus. <laughs> um. So yeah. No. The other ship, you know, bursts in, uh, into a giant firework as uh, the you know galaxy expands around you, and you are. Sent off into a like horrifying wormhole. The uh, ship, like for those of you who've never been in this type of ship before, it is terrifying. Like there's subtle creakings all around you. The uh, any you know like anyone who has a view outside can see that, that like warp is basically like space has gone into like this horrific maelstrom of unreal space, and it feels and looks like you're about to just be, you know, rent asunder and tossed out into non-space. For those of you who are used to it, this is pretty normal. What the fuck is that? Um, Is it it finally like a little opening of of breathing? Yeah, well, you're, you're able to rest easy now. Uh, you'll come right, out on the other side question so. them. Yeah. <laughs> Drop down from the gun and join on top of the giant robot's shoulder. Yeah, as, as you do so, one of the uh, one of the droids, which you have never said anything to you before and have always remained perfectly passive and uncaring of whatever happens, turns and says, That was exceptional shooting. I was also impressed by your skills piloting a, uh, a ship of such limited capabilities, Captain. Uh, thank but, you. <laughs> he's gonna go <laughs> over to the metal him. horse and you be gonna, like, gonna call him Andre Pet. Yes. That's all of us here. What did you do? That's true. <clears throat> I, you, oh, as I stated on the station, uh, we, your survival meant that this ship would be loaned to myself and my two companions. So until further notice, I have taken control of the ship. 
Good job. I, I will take a, me a, a, a mental note to throw that robot horse out of the airlock. <laughs> Do it, say it out loud? Uh, yeah, mental note. Yeah, just like mental, metal yeah. note. Throw <laughs> metal horse. Like throw, throw metal horse well, rope. Throw right, actually, horse. Like, yeah, it, it wouldn't actually look like. Um, yeah, you also wouldn't necessarily uh, know it has a brain, so you'd probably just be like, no to self. Throw, you know, annoying quadruped robot out into space. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll come up with some sort of design later. All right. Um, you've uh, merged back into normal space in orbit around a small sun. Uh, Is zombie still plugged in? I always am plugged in. Well, technically, oh my God, it's like the AI. Yeah. Like uh, it is worth noting because you didn't get the oh, jacked I mean, uh, uh, quality the for the ship. Uh, zombie, while being plugged in and having access to, um, you know, like the robots and the systems and all that, does not have the ability oh. to control the ship itself. Uh, oh. <laughs> he can okay, merely. Sorry. Yeah, he can he can my friends robots. Robots. Yeah. He, What he can <laughs> do is, yeah, like screw around with the robots, which would be. Irritating, because it takes eight people to fly the ship properly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and none of you have any experience whatsoever. Yeah, if like we use those robots. Yeah, basically you need each other. Robots. Like, you know, like Bulil could probably limp the ship to another station without the help of the robots, and the robots could probably get you guys home safely. But any trouble and either group would be completely fucked without, you know. Robots plus superior pilots. Mm -hmm. Can right. my AI companion state this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. that, that's that's the robot says all of that. Like, it, okay. you know, it seems to me that this is the situation as it stands. It is in everyone's best interest for controlled unit Mutual. Jane, Do like ship designation yes. Jane Doe, and pilot designation unknown. Gunner, designation unknown, to work together. He, like the robot, kind of looks at, at Victor and uh, Doc. Other terrestrial xenological equines, unnecessary. <laughs> Strictly speaking, merely as a logical deduction by an infallible robot mind. Of yours too, buddy. Yeah. All right. Um. See, this is why we tried to kill you the last time. I remember. We did. We one of you did. The other All one right. tried to kill the rest of you. I approve of his gumption. Oh, yeah, I vaguely remember something like that. Alright, I'd like to set course for the nearest slave planet. Acknowledged. Uh, yeah, to, um... Because uh, we're going to need some extra extra cash, and uh, that prisoner we took should uh, get us a bit of something. Warning. Something. Captain, designation unknown. It is probable that our... It, it again, kind of looks over it, uh, like Doc and uh, Victor specifically. Companions are valued by Federation. It is possible that they will be. <laughs> All right. Um, that so Jane just sort of like walks over and sits at the center of the thing as uh, they're all speaking. It is possible that Federation representatives will continue to hunt for missing specimens, Xeno, biologic, terrestrial. Equine. All right. I'm. I'm gonna let you finish, but I just want to make note that there are a lot more people that are looking for me than you know. Uh, I can't exactly remember all of them right now, but I can distinctly remember a number of places that I've gone where uh, basically everybody's trying to kill me, and I don't exactly remember how I got out of those situations. But it was something cool, I assure you, and I probably killed thousands of people doing it. Searching so, memory trust. banks. Situation prior. Crashed ship into station killed approximately 200 employees of federation wanted yeah, that was one thing um i helped further wanted so alive 
Jane Doe says. One in dead or alive. Unknown. At time, no. subject was in. Ca- was captured and under lock. Unknown if situation changed post escape. Is possible. It pauses and, like, there's a little bit of confusion. Subject, homeworld. Likely target of Federation. Retribution. Or. As in, that's my homeworld. Let's go into cover for a little while. I don't need (laughs) some time to let everything kind of put itself back together. I'm gonna talk. If if we unplug Jane from here, do you stay? Do you go away? No. So okay. So what's the benefit of keeping Jane plugged in? Subject I'm still searching. Yeah, d- designa- memory. Designation Jane. De- designa- ship designation Jane Doe. Remaining plugged in allows information access to most intelligent member of crew. That's not you. So, our captain? It it looks at captain. Designation, captain, unknown. Possible. I am not yet certain of this. Though, based on what I have seen so far, it is likely that subject, unknown, captain, is rather skilled at their profession. Captain. Designation Captain Zimmer. Designation acknowledged. Captain Zimmer. Designation Designation Gunner Share. Designation Sh- assigned. Gunner Share. <laughs> you said your name and now it's gonna call you. Shay and you're jealous. Shay, goddammit! Well, damn it, I misread. <laughs> yeah. Now you're share the cigar. Like I said, uh, set course for uh, navigation to the nearest slaving giant planet. Acknowledge, Captain Zimmer. Uh, the robot. Jane Doe doesn't know if she's morally okay with this, but. Even Big Jane really Doe was on care. Yeah. He has killed and made love to slavers alike. Jay, yeah, you're a freak. Freak is away. Um, no, but uh, so as as you you know start going, uh, you know you do kind of you know like uh, take chart of what you guys have, and currently you're actually kind of low on most of your supplies. Uh, there's not a lot of fuel in this uh, ship. There's not a lot of food. There's basically no medical supplies left after you know, what you had to use to uh, keep Victor going until he's healthy enough to just kind of recover naturally. And, uh, you know, like, essentially, aside from, like, the things that you don't really need refilling on, you're kind of low on just about everything. You need cash and you need supplies if you're going to make it. You know, what do you think we're gonna? Yeah. What do you think we're gonna do with that person? Oh yeah, no. Like you're, you'll get some money off. You'll get enough to keep going for a while. But basically, you're going like in order to get anywhere like at any sort of reasonable time, you're going to need some way of uh, making some money. All right. <laughs> Captain Shea, how about we try to see if there's any mining you operations? Just said Captain Shea. God damn it, Cap- Zimmer. Captain Zimmer. How? Now my brain is I'm confused. Who is who? Designation Captain Zimmer. Designation Gunner Share. <laughs> <laughs> Change designation to designation. Only the Gunner captain Shea. has that. I kind of like that name. Uh, <laughs> eh, I'm gonna call you Share anyway. All right. Call him All right. What was your suggestion, Gunner? Maybe we can see if we Bert. can find a mining operation and uh, try to see if we can get hired there. I could go good for job. some miners. Good. Wait. Good. Good okay, idea. that didn't come out right. Uh, well, let's uh, let's first get rid of this uh, this liability before we uh, consider uh, going 
uh, yeah. having our companions mine. mining. Yeah, you, you uh, set course, and before too long, you reach a Federation outpost, uh, you know, hovering over a semi-inhabitable world. The uh, population of the world is very small, and is actually primarily uh, based around a form of mineral mining. Though, uh, you know, the above, uh, you know, station is a trade hub, both selling what is mined from the planet, buying, uh, you know, receiving shipments of supplies necessary to run the station and the operation below, as well as trading in various goods as the, uh, you know, people running the place kind of have turned the uh, whole operation to a general marketplace. And slavery is a frowned upon but accepted part of the whole thing. All right. <laughs> We're going to go there first. Yeah. Uh, roll me a knowledge all, check, real quick, actually. Knowledge check? Yeah. Jane knowledge. also Jane, um, uh, Jane addresses the computer. Designation oh. Doe, Admiral. Acknowledge, Admiral Doe. Um, so, um, and so then the knowledge check is intelligence. Actually, you, you, you say that, but what it ends up doing. Uh, yeah, intelligence plus knowledge. Uh, so nice. yeah. cool. Actually, my card um, roll this as well. Yeah, actually, what, what, what you do. I have a Jane, 15 is, in total. Uh, okay, yeah, no, you'll succeed. Um, so, but first, Jane, uh, you try and uh, change your designation to Admiral, uh, but because of how long it remained inside of your body as a uh, AI, when you do so, it actually changes it to designation, capital ship, Jane Doe. Capital <laughs> <laughs> ship? Yes, flagship, like flagship Doe. What are your orders, Commander? Uh, request dock to station. Adhere Agreed. to Captain Command for time being. Acknowledge. What the hell is Captain capital ship. Command? <laughs> Acknowledge flagship. <laughs> she has no idea about like military rank. <laughs> yeah. I am She's really confused at who is who now. Actually, I, I imagine. That. Yeah, no, I imagine Jane actually like given the fact that she's from Equestria, probably imagined this is some sort of like weird ship made out of flags. <laughs> My God. Designation: <laughs> Doctor G, head medical officer. Doctor. Yeah, medical. Officer. <laughs> All right. Designation acknowledged. Uh, designation Victor Sentry, head of interrogation. Assassin. <laughs> Intelligence head assigned. Officer Sentry. Intelligence. <laughs> so, like so, literally, you put so in torture, and it just comes out with <laughs> intelligence officer. Okay. <laughs> what did it to be? I'm down yeah. with that. Like that's that's the thing. Like basically, this is a Federation uh, ship. It, it's like putting things in the way that it understands them. So basically, as far as the, as the Federation con is concerned, if you're an intelligence officer, that means you also are a, are a torturer. Uh, so uh, yeah, and as you kind of dock and you prepare to unload your prisoner, you remember something, Captain. Uh, mm -hmm. You actually remember the fact that there that. You know, because of the whole slavery thing, one thing that Federation, which basically runs just about everything worth uh, anything in this part of the galaxy, does, is double is check uh, the tags inside of uh, the people, and uh, so like official Federation officers and uh, enlisted men have certain ID tags implanted inside of them, All right. and. Either, uh, you know, like, that, like, even removing them would end up tripping an alarm because of the fact that, like, they're no, like, like that type of surgery is known. Like, people would understand, like, what that meant. Uh, so, what about taking apart the, the body and uh, selling the organs? Separately? Oh, yeah, you can do that. No problem. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, like, yeah. actually, that's kind of, like, a thing. Like, so you, you basically, oh. like, get rid of the, like, you take out all the organs and you, um... You know, like basically just shave a off a bunch of like flesh where the uh, thing would be. It's going to be kind of obvious what you've done to anyone who's in the know, but organ farmers tend not to really care. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Doc, <laughs> you, you have to help. Uh, and then, uh, the, 
I'm gonna yeah, turn cool. to the captain and be like, I can help with doc with medical stuff. I prefer having See, the AI look. take care of this. I have cool. The tools. AI does not get diseases from within the beings. Neither do I, bird brain. Do you know about this procedure? Dissections? <laughs> like, to be fair, you took a minus one in your medical facilities on the ship, so your ship's thing will basically just, like, chop them up and ruin a bunch of the organs. Oh, okay. You took a minus one? Yeah. Why would you take a minus one? <laughs> because we have to take it our big gun. <laughs> Who needs medicine when you have a gun? You trade a gun for health. All right. If you if you are a doctor, like you say, if you have this medical profession, then uh, make sure to uh, avoid and uh, and Zimmer points out the section of meat that contains the tracker. Avoid that whole area. Okay, I'll just. All right. Do you have surgery, G? Yeah. I, okay. I have medical yeah. Answer. Roll me surgery plus. Uh, uh, Dexterity, because you're just trying to like cut out all the organs properly. Meanwhile, uh, back in, inside of the uh, main room, Victor, the computer, contacts you. All right. Chief Inte Intelligence Officer Sentry. There is a yep. non-zero possibility that someone with your talents in psionic abilities may be helpful to Captain Commanding Officer... Uh, Zimmer, Zimmer and Gunnery Officer uh, <clears throat> Shay Shade as the uh, share sorry share as uh, they go down it's to ten, cell. Isn't it? Yes, that, that's fine. I would recommend that you. No, wait, that's a nine. Them. All right, that's it's still nine. fine. That's... Still fine. Yeah. yeah I no, would recommend no, you assisting. Twenty-one them. in total. Okay, yeah, that's definitely enough. That's definitely enough. Yeah, yeah you you succeed. <laughs> expertly in cutting up this body and removing all the organs and putting them in little like ice boxes. Would you would you agree, Chief Intelligence Officer? Uh I mean I guess in a sense. I cannot although I really although I really wouldn't be too helpful to them until actual conversations with other entities occur. It is possible, Chief Officer. However, that is likely to occur, as they will be selling body parts in Federation space. It might be useful for one with your talent and talent for killing to join them. That is probably a good idea. I will prepare a suit to disguise your unusual xenological figure so as I to avoid unwanted attention. <laughs> so yeah, you get put in like a like a weird semi metal, semi latexy suit, uh, that's designed to uh, keep you alive in hard vacuum. Uh, but because of the weird space, like shape of it and the way that it had to be modified to uh, let you fit, you don't really look like a pony in it. So you'll be safe uh, with the ground team. Flagship Jane Doe, will you be accompanying the away team? Um, is there anything that would require my assistance on board the ship? Negative. Flagship... We have things in tow here. Your presence is not needed, though is, of course, welcome. Maintain security until we return. I will go with the way team. Acknowledged, flagship. <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, like yeah, the doctor, Doc G, I assume you're going because you're carting the organs? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you all head off into the planet to uh, I, sell I off your, your cargo of meaty bits. <laughs> we uh, have any money at all? That, that? that sounds like no, a snack food. Like they they basically robbed. confiscated yeah. most of our credits. That yeah, actually yeah. sounds like a freaking back market snack food. Meaty <laughs> bits. 
It's it's pretty gross. But as you kind of go down, you start going hey, around. In some areas, it is a delicacy. Uh, yeah. You actually see there's like stations like a month thing, and uh, there's actually wanted boards that cycle through people. And while most of the faces and names you see coming up are unknown to you, a few familiar ones actually do start appearing. Uh, namely, the uh, the ponies in your group. <sighs> what we does Meng say? We don't need this attention so, down here. Yeah, like Victor Century uh, wanted multiple, uh, like one count of mass murder, uh, <laughs> several counts of, you know, cold blooded of like uh, murder, first degree murder of Federation officers, and uh, like. Wanted, basically, for crime of being like dangerous xenological specimen that is property of uh, Federation. Okay, they miss basically all of my career. Uh, if they, uh, then again, they, I'm kind of missing a lot of it too. Think, you better not think for a second I won't sell you out. Oh, don't worry, I can just make them stop. Hopefully. Yeah, you also, um, like, uh, see something that's also a bit troubling, though maybe not for you, you psychopath, um, <laughs> which is a uh, news bulletin being broadcast uh, from one of the Federation core worlds about a, dis a, new disco a newly discovered uh, planet rich with resources and with a population that's, uh, you know, interesting psionic abilities could prove excellent benefits to all of mankind, and that the Admiralty Board is even now discussing plans for uh, integrating this new planet, designated E1, then like a long string of digits, uh, into the Federation under protective uh, colonization. And do you recognize that planet as Equestria? Damn. Hey, it's home. Wait, it is. As you, uh, yeah, you, you guys get into the thing and uh, you know, like, kind of slip inside before anyone notices you, which is, uh, you know, like people are are like. We see the devil and I. You do not see the devil and I. Uh, but you do see a uh, a kind of like sallow, you know, pale um, merchant you know, surrounded by, you know, just piles of, of meat Ah! What can I do for you, my friends? I'd like a pound of Italian sausage, thank you He stares at you I go, I'm just fucking with you, we're here to sell Ah, yes, humor I appreciate that and customer so often yeah, we have uh, so serious what do you have for me today um, <clears throat> premium uh, <clears throat> premium the premium phone ringing <laughs> premium uh, bipedal Zeno mm, excellent excellent he, he takes them and starts looking more ah yes yes Missing a few parts, I see. Mm, mm, quite all right, quite all right. Well, this is excellent. Very fresh. Very healthy. I can offer you... Oh, da, 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 da. 750 credits for, the, for all of this. Is that a good, can I, good amount or a bad amount? While looking at it. Uh, while he's looking at what would you like to do, Jane? Um, I would like to see if I can notice if it's been enhanced in any way, like bio... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, roll, roll real quick. Uh, like, just knowledge medicine. Like, uh, intelligence and medicine. And you can do the same, G, because you were, you know, hooves, like, elbow deep in it. I'd like to... Uh, would I... Is that a good price, though? Uh, no. That is clearly not that a great price, but it's also, like, pretty traditional to haggle at least a little bit. I have haggling. Okay, yes. great, yeah. Roll, roll, uh, yeah, if you have any charisma, you can add that as well, uh, or negative, subtract that as well. Yeah, well I may yes. not remember the exchange rate in this place, but I'm pretty sure that's not the best. Yeah. <laughs> roll, roll that for me. Oh, man. 
then again, I can't really remember what I had for breakfast uh, and six it's months a ago. Added to that, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, so, seventeen. Oh, all right, seventeen. Can I, can I give? Would I know the, that that's a shitty price? No, I wouldn't. No, you would not. You would have no I idea. I that. rolled a seventeen in total. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're like bullshit. Like that's you know the, that a good price would be about a thousand. So you kind of like go like over that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Oh, ridiculous! It, you can't expect me to work at, you know, to buy it. Oh. You know, me, eat at that price, I'd go out of business. Uh, 800. Good offer. More than I'd give any slump off the street. 900. Is it just no, you, you won't go over a thousand. You have a scene in JoJo. <laughs> a bit, but haggling is pretty traditional. Like, th this is a yeah. thing that's exists forever. Yeah, but I mean, like, this seems, like, really methodically in line with the haggling I, scene from like, JoJo. You, you have not seen a lot of the haggling scenes then. Like, that is a pretty classic haggling scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, like, oh, oh ridiculous. Oh, All right, here. The line? Um, ha like haggling seven, isn't yeah. about the money. It's about it's about uh, reputation or something. Yeah, pretty much. But at seven... But at yeah. seven fifty, we couldn't even get off this yeah. planet because of the like high bargaining roll you managed to do. You actually even managed to get the price hiked up to about one thousand one hundred, <laughs> and he's clearly not super happy about that. Like he actually is kind of like, "Damn it, you guys got a good deal on this." Like, <laughs> all right, fine, 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 take it, take it. And uh, yeah, he he basically he has like a single chip, but the chip has like. You know the number calculated on, it. and when you plug it into your personal like device, it uploads to your account, and it's like, ah, oh, shit, money. Um, and as as he's uh, doing that, though, he notices Doc J, like, oh, what do you have there? That's ah, very interesting. Actually, did we notice any cybernetic or bio enhancements? You see a lot of bio enhancements, like. Oh. This dude has two hearts. He's like a lot. Like parts of his body have been like upgraded, like to all hell. You know, his uh, adreno glands are, you know, like doubly uh, like efficient. His liver is like perfectly designed to like uh, dilute toxins, and he has a like hardened like he has like a like like a weird pseudo second nervous system that like. Is why they were able to like recover from the stunning as quickly as they were. Oh my Celestia! If I was still alive, I'd keep this for myself. <laughs> Speaking of which, he's like, "Doc, hey, okay. that uh, that one you have there, that uh, that uh, that Hickwine. How mm -hmm. much for it?" <clears throat> I'd like to hear a price first before I'd haggle. He he. Just like he, he kind of like motions you over a little bit. He's like, I will give you 3,000 credits for the equine. I assume they're talking about G. Yes, yes, because they don't know um, Nero's. Do I, do I know uh, the, the reward for finding? Uh, the reward for finding then is uh, something like 5,000. And you actually, you get the, like, the feeling that like, like looking at him, he, he's not going like, oh my god, I recognize G, like a bounty. Mm -hmm. It's more like no, just like, oh shit, that's like, I recognize like that species, like that species. Ooh, ooh, want, ooh. want that flesh. <laughs> Hold on, I need to uh, discuss with my, uh, with my second in command. Yes, he yes. Pulls, uh, pulls, uh, Shay to the side. I think like, you mean fifth in command. <laughs> pulls Shay to the side, and he's like, mm -hmm. all right. Does that does that mean that you actually put like me and, oh, and Victor above? Yeah, the you're, you're both ahead of them. <laughs> That's amazing. Technically, technically though, he's the captain designated, so he is. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, Zimmer is high up. Oh no, like no, yeah, yeah, yeah like. Yeah, if not, mine, if I guess I'm first, number one, and you're number two. Well, I mean, you're considered the ship, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't have like a proper designation. But yeah, no, like, ca the captain's second in command, like, by the captain's ruling, speaks with uh, him. Uh, so, what, what do you say? For it. Uh, well, he, uh, well, Zimmer asks yeah. Shay uh, what, what they should uh, go for with this. Yeah. Well, the, well, the robot did say that that one was unnecessary, but Yori did help us. 
That is what I'm currently thinking. Okay, what if I were what if I were to try and use Mesmer here to get uh, to get uh, Captain Zimmer to just think this deal is not worth it? You can try. Like, what would be the negative repercussions for failure? Um, They realize that you try to mix with their brain. Yeah, that'd probably be yeah. it. Getting sold. Then it would be, be like, <laughs> alright, sold them both. Uh, no. So, <laughs> oh, okay. It's the only what? thing. I could, or I could try and make the shop owner think that. I Give us the money, money anyway. <laughs> I'll, save, I'll save that as a last resort. Let's just see how it goes. Hold on, person. Definitely can be valuable to sell the unnecessary product like we used to do. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll haggle a price first. If we don't get a good price, then uh, <laughs> then I mean, uh, then no go, of course. And it's called off. All right. All right. I'm gonna roll a haggling roll. <laughs> so. <laughs> But if right. it's not a good price, then he'll call it off. Okay. So. Yeah. Seventeen. Oh, nice. <laughs> Five hundred. Ten thousand. Five. Four thousand. Seven thousand. Five thousand. Six thousand. No higher. Six thousand. Five. Ten. I give you six thousand for the horse. Yes, yes. Oh, I have plans. Oh, my friend, my friend, let me show you something. Uh, Nero, now would be a good time to, uh... (laughs) Okay, can I... I'm going to try and command the shop owner's brain to think this deal is not worth it. (laughs) Okay. Hold on, as you you are doing that, like, basically, like, as you're, um... (laughs) <laughs> oh god! Um, as, as you are like, just as you're about to like Thanks, pull the thing out, you actually see that he like pulls out things like, oh look at this, like this is, this is why, and he opens and he shows you on Daypad like an image of a pony floating in a tank in what appears to be the back of his shop. Uh, like oh. it is straight up a pony from Equestria. Uh, it is everyday thing. Yeah, it's, it's been like sliced open. It's, uh, you know, like, entire, like, skin's been, like, pulled out like a rug, and it's, like, innards are kind of, like, just floating freely in the tank, but its eyes are moving. It's like, oh, ah, it's... yes, I got this one in uh, not too long ago. It's actual, like, I've never seen anything like it before, but I tell you what, I've been hearing rumors that there's going to, that uh, the Federation is interested in these. I should get, if I get both of them... Ah, breed a few, I can end up getting far more of a profit. Hey, very clever, is it not? So, uh, have you ever heard of a, uh, uh, ever considered having a partner in business? I didn't consider it. Victor, would you like to say anything? (laughs) Uh... Sorry, what exactly is going on here? He's, he's showing off the fact that he's got another pony in storage, like like in storage, which is why he wants Doc. But he basically intends to like essentially clone breed, like test tube baby breed uh, more of them, <coughs> and sell them to the government. One 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 question. Sorry, yeah, I had my mic ahead. muted. I was in. Oh yeah, go ahead. What, what? I ask the shopkeeper what color was. Oh, it's blue. Blue. It's very pretty, pretty color. color. I can't remember what color the other two were. Um, yeah, yeah what, what color are the other two? Victor? Well, one of them was blue. No, 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 no. no. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about, like, hair and... Oh, right, hair. And... Yeah, hair was... Hair was a, was, a, uh, was a Pegasus. This one is clearly blue. not. And, um... Mm-hmm. He, white... Hair was a dark... Right, there was black and white of yes, black and white right. lore officers. I think. Yeah, I think, I think that was the one. So, yeah, no, it's definitely not your friend. It's like, this is someone else. Uh, now, yes, still so, not okay with me. Yeah, you can use stealth to get back there, actually, by the way. Um, uh, but while, you, while you're doing that, Nero, what would you like to say? Because you do have that mesmer power. 
So I don't so tell this. I can't tell uh, this shit's going on, can I? No. Okay. I'm. I am going to. Uh, I'm going to tell the shopkeeper. Just drop it. He's not you, worth it. R- roll willpower uh, and uh, plus the uh, the mesmer. Uh, okay, that is an eight. Uh, that is 17. Okay. As, as the shopkeeper is, like, working out the price, he suddenly stops and says, It's not worth it. It, uh... But, but it was worth it just a second ago. Oh, no, it, um... It, it, he holds his head. Uh, it's, too, it's, it's too much risk. That's it. It's, it, would be, it would be too much of a risk to, to, to do that. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I shouldn't. It's illegal to uh, to trade in slaves without a without a permit, anyway. So uh, it, it, it's it's all too much of a hassle. Never mind. Never mind. You have your credits. You have your organs. Uh, forget, forget the rest of it. Uh, all right. I lean over and whisper into G's ear. You're welcome, faggot. Let's go use these credits to get some fuel and some extra supplies. I like how, like, Doc is basically just his entire time being like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Indeed, they're trying to sell them into slavery. Hmm. Oh, they're actually <laughs> thinking about it. Oh, well, dear. They're actually going to do it. Uh, and the guy just goes, it's nah. not I, I'd interrupt and tell you not to sell them into slavery, but that might be a bit rude. I might get late. <laughs> no, I, I, I was planning something. I was just waiting for it to happen. I was like... Am I gonna have to like kill this guy and then we and take his money? I don't so know if you'd like, be able to. Do you yeah, realize uh, you're surrounded by criminals? <laughs> yeah, Jane, Jane, uh, do you, I see you using your cloak right now to get back. If you sold me and then I killed yeah. you, yeah, the sold plus then, five. I don't know if this is okay. No, it's fine. Do, you know, do it. A person skinned and. What are you doing? We don't. You can, I'm gonna. You, can I talk to it? I want to talk to it. Oh yeah, yeah. You can get like again. You, hold on. Who are you trying to talk to? The horse. The the pony. Yeah. Yeah. Again, you use uh, you use stealth to get back there. Yes. All right. Just roll me a quick stealth uh, plus five, plus six thirty to uh, to double check that. He broke his sweet hands. Did you know that being skinned alive sucks? Are you aware of that? Are you aware that we criminals do not care what happens to you? Necessarily. There you go. I rolled 21, and then I rolled a 10, so I rolled again. I rolled a I was 10. Yeah, you, succeed. you succeed super well. Like, basically, like, as, like you, you, like, go into stealth mode, like, hop straight over the desk into the back without anyone noticing. Wonderful. <laughs> Um, the pros of being completely normal. Yeah. You get that? <laughs> yes, perfectly normal horse has returned. <laughs> um, but no, you um, you get back easily enough, and you're able to plug yourself into the uh, the thing. And as soon as you do, you hear a uh, the voice of the of the uh, funny side thing. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh, sweet Celestia! Someone's finally turned on my speakers. H- hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Remain calm. Wait, you're not... Who are you? Did you come to rescue me? Uh, or did you buy me? Oh. This what? depends. <laughs> on whether I think I can get away with it. Oh, you, you can get away with it. I, uh, I promise, I promise. Just, just, uh, here, I actually... I've been learning... I, hold on, hold on. Listen, this is very important. You have to save me. I promise you. I, I, I have... I have things I can do to help us escape. You just have to promise me you can get me out of here, okay? Please, please, you can do it, right? What do you mean, help us escape? What, what I can, can, I can help. Do? I can help. One of the things that they've been doing while I've been trapped in here, the people who kidnapped me, the people who stuck me in this tank, they, they helped me figure out, like, when they, when they cut off my horn, when they removed it, something changed in my magic. I can, I can help. I, I just can't see anything. Turn on my eyes. Turn on my eyes. I can help you. Promise. I, I turn on its eyes. 
Uh, yeah, like creepy as shit. Sensors around the tank light up, and thing looks around. I don't see anyone. Are, are, are we alone? Is there anyone else in here? Is there anyone else in there? Or? No, uh, they're in the other room. Yeah. There's no one in this room. Okay. They're in another room. Okay, great. It, it like the lights start to flash a little faster. Here, watch this. And uh, you see oh, no. a uh, like like the lights flash and like the eyes inside the tank like roll. Like they're not actually like they're kind of like weirdly positioned, but like you can see them like roll up and then uh, like behind you, uh, one of the uh, like boxes like one like they like the sets of jars of organs. Uh, like a, like just how it seemingly like out of, thi like out of the air itself, a like stream of frigid air, you know, billows out, and a sleet of ice starts covering where like the jars where it hit. Oh my! Aren't you precious? Yes, I can Aren't help. See, I promise. <laughs> I promise. I'll do anything you want. Just, just help me get out of here. Yeah, I'd already sort of made up my mind to help get you out when I first plugged in. So. Oh, oh bless you, bless you, bless you. Come on, quick, before he comes back. Okay, give me a few minutes. I will disconnect. <laughs> Wait, no, I can. <laughs> and suddenly she's cut off. Oh, she. Okay, as well. Yeah. Um, okay, come on. I. Oh no! <laughs> Too hard! <laughs> just got it. Two face horse. Two face horse um, returns. Um, okay, awesome. so how big is this tank that they're in? I uh, can't carry it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty big. Like, it's, it's basically about the size, it's about five foot high. And uh, you know, th uh, three foot across, so it's more like a squat tube than a than like a giant tank. But it's it's heavy as hell. Like it's got a big metal base, and the top is screwed on with a metal thing. So could I pick it up, though? Uh, you can. What's your strength? My ro with your robo strength. No, your robo strength is not that mighty. <laughs> okay. What about the big guy? Uh, big guy could probably do it. Uh, like a number of you could do it. And there's a, uh, there's a rolly tank, the, like a rolly bed that you can uh, put it on, if you can uh, get a little help lifting it. Um, I step outside of the room. All right, are you and still invisible? No. All right, so yeah, you just Actually, walk. Yes, yes, okay, yes. okay, it's like so, do, for, for, do, for do, the do, moment. Do. What do I see? Uh, the, uh, shop owner is, like, cleaning up the thing, it looks like everyone else is preparing to leave, because well, the sale was canceled. Well, to go get fuel and shit. Yeah, so they're, they're just leaving to go get fuel. They, okay. they haven't quite left yet, but they're, like, on the way out. Um, I wait for them to be far enough away. Alright. To not see. Because, you know, we don't want any arguments. Oh, of course. Oh, especially when one of them was for selling in the slavery. <laughs> We're uh, selling one in slavery. We're actually two of them. Yeah. Uh, I the when when, when they're when they're out of sight and out of mind, I disengage my cloak and then I shoot the what's his face right. the shopkeeper in the face with my taser. Roll dex uh, roll, roll dex plus. Um, uh, we're just gonna say that uh, this is uh, like a default thing for you, so uh, you can use. Uh, Brawling or shooting, whatever you, whatever your skill is better for you. Um, does my uh, stun gun have a target link? Uh, no, it does not. And then minus two because I don't have gun skill. Okay. Didn't think of that. Oh, I got a three. You have three. Oh. Yeah. So it hits the like thing above his head and goes wildly off, and the guy spins around. It's like, ha! Ah! He throws up his hands. What, what are you? What? What do you want? Are you robbing me? How do you get behind me? I 
am here, I say slowly as I start reloading the stun gun. <laughs> to, to liberate these organs. <laughs> well, hey, don't, don't shoot, alright? Don't shoot. Uh, you can have it. You, you have the organs. I don't even care. Well, it's, it's too much danger for me anyway. Is the gun reloaded? Yes. I want to shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, roll a gun. <laughs> Really want to take him down, don't you? What a pussy! I got a seven. It's closer. All right. He seems to realize suddenly that you are terrible at shooting, and turns around to grab something out of the uh, thing. Turning back around uh, with what well, with a strange-looking gun. Oh, All right, you. <laughs> I'll kill. Like I kill you, you piece of shit robot. <laughs> um, I start reloading the gun again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll dex against him. You mean dodge? Uh, no, dex, because you're thinking who goes first. Okay, alright. Four. Oh. Four. I rolled a one. <laughs> roll in real one. <laughs> okay, he gets his reload first. Uh, and he uh, fires... Uh, I, yeah, he basically has yeah. like a like a blaster, and then he takes a shot at you. Roll, uh, you can roll oh. dodge. Okay. Actually, you don't need to because he fires, and a big smoking hole appears in the like roof, so in, like I'm the, the wall. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Hit anyone else in the entire like. <laughs> you're like standing. You're like standing oh, yeah, yeah. at the end of the room. Like, why isn't like why isn't like security there yet? Uh, security is starting to take notice because these are starting to get loud. <laughs> are yeah, you guys are like notice? five feet apart, so like ah, boosh, boosh, boosh. <laughs> nine. I've got a nine. <laughs> right. You hit. Finally did. Uh, roll d ten Ooh. times four. One d. Ten. Watch me fail this one. Oh man, rolls like a ten. That'd be great. Oh. Kills him with a stun gun. Sixteen. Okay. So, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't go down, but, like, he starts shuddering and manages to hold on to the blaster, but is at minus two now because, like, his nervous system has been fried. I'll kill you! Uh, the door that you came through <laughs> is blown off its hinges. God! <laughs> <laughs> I reload. Okay, super, 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 super again. Shooting at each other. <laughs> Fire back. This is like the world's worst Clint Eastwood movie. Jesus. Oh, I rolled a two. Which is a one. So out through the open door that they left open, the stun bolt just flies off, and one security guard who is coming in to investigate <laughs> hits the deck. Those of you are clearly aware of what's going on. The security guard, who's like not even armoring, he's just like a normal like rent a cop, is like thrown onto the ground. He's like, "Back up! We need back up! Fire! They're shooting at us! We're taking fire!" I assume it's the other guy's turn now. Yeah, the other guy. He's like, "I got you! I got you now! I roll one, and then I roll a four. <laughs> So he, <laughs> he, he, like, he, he, he like he shoots a guard. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he tries to take a swing at you, and it ends up like spinning around. He ends up firing straight out the door, and the guard who starts getting up is blasted right off his feet. Wow. I'm imagining like like it's like the stun gun that's like it's got a wire connected to the gun, <laughs> but like the wires don't disconnect after the shot, so it's yeah, just like so, all these strings hanging around. So you both see this happen, by the way, and so do all the people outside, and he's now looking oh, st like horrified. I, and at least me and Shay, I, I'm thinking, yeah. are just gonna keep on calmly Just keep walking, this is nothing new. With the Federation authorities. Fair enough. We don't need to deal with them right now. Other ho that. flesh horses, what are you doing? Good question. Did we notice? Um, <sighs> Nero? Did we notice this? Part yes, of yes, you are very aware of this. Everyone this noticed. This is loud. <laughs> oh shit, that doesn't look good. Hey, wanna make $6,000? <clears throat> I'll be back in I two seconds. I don't see why not. Just... 
Because okay. if we kill that guy, he had at least 6,000 to give for me. All right, so you're you charging into the fray. You realize there's a bunch of security there. Not yet. So you, so you guys charge into the fray then. Boogity, 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 boogity. Bird brain. Zombie, you have an, you have an opening. <laughs> Try and take it. Gemini, Gemini really is going. talking shit to the bird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, he really wants to get thrown out of an airlock. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you don't talk shit to your higher... Superiors, that's yeah. the correct word. You're not a superior. Well, yes, I am. Well, technically, you're a captive. J Jane Robo Doe, what are you? Uh, what are you doing to do? He's got an opening. Somebody said he w was going to go away for two seconds. Okay, so while, while that's happening, you two are charging in. Uh, yeah, the security has not reached it yet, but you guys will have an opportunity to quickly like fire in on the guy. But you don't have any guns, so you might just want to like charge him. Just hit him down. Burn him. Nero, what are you going to do? Hmm. Is there anything that I can pick up? Uh, there's. You can pick up like a rock or something, like hurl it at him. I am going to grab a the largest rock that I can carry that isn't like unreasonably hard yeah. to swing, and I am going to whack him on the head with it. All right, roll me a whackums. Dex plus uh, brawling. <laughs> Damn. All right, that is <laughs> twelve. Yes, turn it. That is exactly what it is. <laughs> yes, exactly. So you dive in, and you know, like awkwardly, it's like swinging to hit him, and he like stumbles back. <laughs> like, oh, uh, zombie! You have an opening. He's just been hit in the head with a rock. <laughs> this is a born fight. You're using double fist punches. Have have other people joined me? Uh, yes, the two other ponies have joined you. Okay. Not the bird uh, nor the robot creature. Now the I'm bird like, and the robot are probably going to run to the ship and try and take it the themselves. Fucking... Well, we need to get the rest of the supplies to them. Uh, I go G. Actually, no, I yes. can't. It's, it's no, it's it's too it's too late. Okay, you. Occupy him. I point at the guy and the guard, and then I run into the room to get the. the... <laughs> yeah, so 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 the, the robot's still flashing, like the the tank is still flashing its lights rapidly. Okay. I point Whoever is the well owner of the big it. tank, oh, yeah. you left your lights on. Oh my god! What is going on out there? <laughs> We're setting you free. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you just Can freeze take everyone that's attacking us? Um, I can't really see them. Be kind of, I, it's kind of hard if I can't see them. If you do see them, just don't shoot at the horse ones. All right, yeah, sure. There's more ponies? Oh. Yes. Did, has, he, has Equestria expanded into space? No. No. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! All right. Well, here. There's a there's a cart. He used he used it to carry me in here. Get me on the cart. I'll you can wheel me around. I will push her on the cart. All right. You manage to kind of like awkwardly get her onto the cart and roll it over to the side. It kind of like goes a little too far and bashes into the uh, other like organ pots, but it's fine. You've got an opening. Uh, gee, it's your shot. Um, what, what's around me that I can pick up? Uh, rock. Uh, what do I have on my hands and my tools that might be sharp? Uh, you have, like, some, like, you have, like, a knife, like, you have, like, a little pocket knife type thing. Or, like, a screwdriver or something. Can I just go for his eyes? Yes. With, like... Yes, you can. <laughs> it's going to be the most healthy, but you can it. do it. Roll. Yeah, sure, why not? Roll. What am I rolling? Punch. Yeah, brawling. But you're I punching with nines and roll. for fists. Keep on rolling, 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 What's the minus at? Yeah, baby. Um, what, what did you roll in total? What, like, what, what was your actual roll? <laughs> <Eight. laughs> 
Oh, oh, did, oh, so you rolled a one, then an eight? No, just total eight. Total eight, okay. And it's a, uh, yeah, and the penalty is minus three because you're trying to, like, no, minus three for the head and minus, uh, yeah, so, yeah, you fail. So you dive forward and jam your screwdriver hoof directly into the table. And there it gets stuck. Uh, uh, the uh, the corpse wagon is going to now be able to take a shot, and uh, so you know psychic organs will uh, you know power up her. Uh, let's see here, where did I leave those notes for cryokinesis? Here we are. Oh, this is... So a once again a jet of cold you know shoots out, and. Uh, you know, this time it actually met, it like it hits the uh, person. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! Oh, oh we also oh, should 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 okay. No, no okay. okay. Also, I, I, there actually is more to this. So, on um, this one, this one, it's not it's, it's not <laughs> as bad as I thought, but um. Oh, oh no! DM decided to shake the dice after Six. Yeah. So I... Oh, right. Well, I took out all my D6s in, to play Warhammer the other day, so, like, I'm trying to dig out all my D6s. I'm trying to dig out D6s. You all right. consider soaking your die that you want to use for other sessions in your favorite alcohol. I guess that'd be whatever... That'd be a waste of alcohol. Okay. Okay, so the rest of that wasn't nearly as shit. So, okay. Alright, so soon. Um, can't believe you guys got in a fight on the first fucking, like, planet we get in. Alright, so yeah, like... You could have done this piece. There's like a sudden jet that hits the guy and he suddenly just freezes solid. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? It's awesome. Yeah, and like he's now just know, like compl- like he, he's literally just ice. Like, sounds like something that we're gonna need a robot body for. Yeah, ice try. Yeah, like in, inside your head, Jane Doe. It's, it's like you just hear like like the the uh, voice of the corpse. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, like chill out. <laughs> Yours were a hot head. Uh, amazing. Amazing! That was, that was amazing! Oh, okay. uh, oh god. Cool it. Yeah. Alright, cool cats, let's get out. We gotta. Let it split. go, man. I, I, I stop and I go, ooh, now that he's out of the way. Uh, I want to quickly x ray the room, the building, uh, to see if there's the, any money. The, the police are coming. That's fine. I want to see if okay. there's any money. Uh, there's money. There's a, there are credit shirts. You have to put in the take password in order to actually get the uh, money out of it, though. You might I be able to hack it. it. Yeah. Yes. You should probably uh, just take them with. The, the, the cops are coming, and you are going to have well, trouble getting I, out with the Can I organs. take it out and like carry it, or does it is it like built into the wall or something? Oh no, you can you can like wield around. It's just like it's it's kind of heavy. You can like, yeah, you can totally like you just need help from one other person. Okay, I. Fifth century, Doctor G. One of you push that. Gotcha. The other one of you push that, and I make them both push the, the two <laughs> things while I get off free. All right, so you only kind of slip out through the back as the uh, as the cops rush into the store, and uh, all this money they, they, they see the guy like was still holding the blaster when he was frozen. So like like sh- like this is this is the cop killer. Uh, I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Should have taken the gun as well. Well, the gun was frozen to his hand, so it's been kind of hard. Right. Um, so you managed to wield the giant, like the floating pile of corpse parts in there, and uh, you, you're now kind of dealt, dealing with the other problem, which is that you're in the middle of a city, you need to get to the port, and you're wheeling around a giant barrel of organs. Can I quote other things? No. 
you're going to need a disguise. But next time, we will join us for Strange Bedfellows Part 2 Yay. for Operation Get the Cor- oh, wait, Get the Corpse of the Greek and buy fuel when, you got- <laughs> when you're wanted by the cops. Well, I'm not wanted by the cops. No, not well. Like as far as you know, the international not cops, like, they, won't yeah. be, they would they would probably pass us over. Yeah, you guys will yeah. probably be okay. But <laughs> that's all for next time <laughs> on Strange Bedfellows Part Two. Lost like in by the space. Let's read. Ooh, no.